All right, this video is for Case H. Sim over at the Reillusion Forums who's having a hard time applying motions uh, to a character using um, motions created to a, for a different character. Basically, what we're doing here is uh, we're going to create a simple motion using this character, and we're going to apply it to a completely different character. Okay, this is uh, actually a very easy process, so there's nothing really mysterious about it. So let's create our motion using this character here. Um, let's use the 3D editor real quick. Uh, let's select this arm, rotate it up, do the same thing with the forearm, do that, maybe twist it a little bit like this, and uh, Let's get this arm twisted like this and maybe move it forward a bit. I don't know. I guess we'll take a rotation. There we go. Alright, so we have that motion we have that starting motion there and now we're going to create our end motion we're going to put it on maybe frame 100 all right so for our end motion <coughs> we're going to go like this we're going to go like that we're going to go like this and maybe a little bit of this and this. What about the head, maybe? Like that. Alright, so we have our 3D motion. You can do that with the 2D editor, 2D editor as well. So that's enough motion for now. We get the idea. So we have our character moving, sort of like a quasi martial arts move. Whoa! Alright, so now your question is about how you take that motion and apply it to a different character. So, basically what we do is we make sure that character is selected and we open up our timeline and uh, go to actor, select the actor that you're working with so you can see their timeline and expand the 2D motion and the 3D motion as well and that way you have access to everything that you've been working on and pull up the collect clip option. So in the collect clip option, I'm going to extend this so we can see the whole thing, I'm going to drag my mouse to encompass my entire range of motion for this character. All right, And uh, now I'm going to right click on there and select export perform. Now you can export just the 3D motion. Uh, I'm going to export the entire thing and uh, I'm going to call this demo. So now you have yourself a little performance file that you can you reuse anytime you want. So I'm going to reset my timeline back to frame one, and go to my uh, my uh, my desktop wherever I saved my my performance file to, and just drag and drop it into my other character, and there you have it. So that's how you get your motions uh, into a reusable way that you can put um, to work on other characters. Now you can also uh, go to your content manager, go to animation, and uh, select custom. Let's see, perform. I don't have anything here, so you can next select that character and add it there. I believe you may be able to. No, you can't drag and drop. Let me see what this does. Uh, find file. I think you may be able to pull it off this way. Let's see, demo, demo, demo. There it is. Oh, that just lets you find the file. Never mind. Um, change view, find file, navigation panel. Okay. Well, there is a, a way of getting it in there. I think you might just be able to select it and click the plus. That might be the easiest way. Um, 
but basically all it did is uh, if I go to find file it takes me to where that file was located at so here it is and I can just drag, drag and drop this one too into that same folder this is a uh, custom crazy talk animator to custom perform I'm just gonna drop that in there and you can see that it also loaded up in here so that's how you get your uh, performance files into the software so you don't have to go like doing this kind of stuff I prefer just keeping them outside because I uh, I can keep a little USB stick with me with all my performance and uh, predefined stuff that I can just use and uh, since I have two different installations of the software I can can kinda go between you know one one and the other and just drag and drop it's easy enough for me so here's the uh, uh, let's see let's drop in another actor Go to animation, and we'll drop up. We'll drop that wall, the one that we saved directly from the software. But let's see, Control Z to undo everything. We now we're gonna drop in my demo one, the one that was in my desktop. So that's it. Uh, hope that answers some questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to just respond and let me know.